Thank you. And the next intervention is from the floor. Therefore, I'm inviting International Service for Human Rights. Thank you, Mr. President. We bring to the Council a number of situations that merit attention based on objective criteria. In Burkina Faso, since September 2022, there are hundreds of cases of torture and extrajudicial executions of civilians by government-organized militia, disproportionately targeting Pearl community members. We call on the HRC to create a mechanism on Burkina Faso. In Colombia, human rights defenders are being murdered, 212 cases in 2022 and 18 already in 2023. Each murder is devastating to a family, friends, and community. Every murder also diminishes the country's ability to build peace, sustainable, dignified future for all. Colombia must address impunity for these murders. Resource protection systems and authorities at the highest levels must speak up for the right to defend rights. In El Salvador, the rule of law is rapidly deteriorating in a context of 11 months of a continued state of emergency. Serious violations by state officials, including high numbers of arbitrary detentions, enforces appearances, torture, and death in custody and the criminalization of defenders. We call on the Council to act now to prevent further violations and abuses. In Saudi Arabia, the authorities continue a pattern of abuse, including arbitrary arrests, severe jail sentences for peaceful, legitimate activity on social media, enforces appearances, systemic gender discrimination, and harsh restrictions on prisoners of conscience released from prison, including travel bans. We call on the HIC to create a mechanism on Saudi Arabia. Thank you.